when I was a kid, like, uh, and we first moved on to Parsons Cross, this was probably area where everybody wanted to live. Everything was new in them days. I mean, we're talking about a lot of years ago, like, uh, in old slum areas, uh, in down in Pearl Street, where I, I was first used to go to my granddad's, everybody used to have to get a bath in a tin bath. Everybody used the same water. It were, we'd only got one tapping house, a cold water tap. But when we moved up to Parsons Cross, uh, we as uh, mums and dads, my dad had just come back from war. We got a bath, we got a garden. And family used to visit us just so they could have a bath. I mean, that's crazy these days. Unfortunately, Parsons Cross is now getting run down. Uh, and over the last few years, it, it, it's got worse and worse. There's no doubt about it. There's poverty, there's nowhere for kids to go. And uh, I used to be involved with a gym in city centre for quite a few years. And local people asked me if I could, uh, if I could help for kids in this area, Parsons Cross. We first kicked off in a pub at Toppert Street, which is now closed, uh, a pub just up road, called Beadle. And after about 12 months uh, of visiting council meetings and going to church halls, uh, we hit on the idea, it was back in 1982, there was a big craze, glue sniffing. Everybody were glue sniffing in them days, all kids. So after a few meetings with, with council, we went to a particular meeting and I asked one or two kids and one or two, uh, two chaps who were trying to give me a hand to open up to go and collect all the glue bags up in the area from back at pubs, back at shops, down the field. And we collected carrier bags full on. We went along to a council meeting and uh, they'd actually got some drawings out on uh, some desks and it was in a school, it was my old school. And they were talking about spending thousands of pounds planting trees and grass uh, to, to make the area look nice, I suppose. But that won't open kids. Anyway, we walked into this, uh, this meet, particular meeting, council meeting, it was a public meeting, and we emptied the glue bags over this fellow's uh, drawings who wanted to plant grass and trees. And next thing you were screaming, get them off my uh, desk. And our answer to that was, they're not on your desk, they're not on your drawings. You say it doesn't happen in this area. There's evidence it does. We had a private meeting, lo and behold, we started almost immediately in the very school we were sat in, where we were told there were no premises anywhere. And it was only a small place but we had kids coming from estate, we never charged a penny for them to train uh, and we produced quite a few champions out in that uh, endless block. Anyone knows anything about amateur boxing will know Bob Wright. He's been in the game now for over 40 years. Uh, he's been one of the main uh, pinnacles of Parsons Cross, uh, done absolute phenomenal things for the community. Uh, real community spirit in the gym, uh, loads of boys, girls, uh, men and women have come and trained here and, and a lot of boxers have uh, succeeded and uh, made more out of their life by coming here. I can't say enough about Bob Wright, he's, he's helped that many young kids just not only just with boxing, just with things in general, any problems that they've got, Bob's always there for me, he's done a fantastic job so I can't really say enough about this place, I can believe it. Bob's helped me out a lot, keep me more disciplined, give me a lot of more confidence in myself because um, I put a lot of weight on my boxing, got a lot stronger. I'm now I'm fighting and proper enjoy it, but something I want to carry on in the career. My dad used to box for this club, Gary. I've boxed for this club and now my young son, he's nearly ready to box for this club, he's 11. And I found about it because uh, my big brother used to go and I just like it because it's very good to get fit. It's really fun because you get fit, you get to do lots of activities and it makes you get fit. But over the years we got bigger and bigger and we got more and more kids coming because there they, they was nothing for them to do, especially in winter months. And uh, we were craving for bigger premises. Uh, a chap called uh, Tony Dams, who was a councillor, 
uh, he actually stepped in line and, and did us a favour and he, he helped us get this building which is three times bigger than his old gym uh, and we've been here for the last four to five years and we've come on leaps and bounds. The unfortunate thing is after having 30 odd years of uh, uh, not ever charging kids anything to come we, we have to charge an animal fee now £1.50 which isn't even a glass of beer in these days but we have to do that in order to keep electric lights on and eating in winter and uh, whatever equipment we can afford to buy. Some of them uh, kids we took back to America. Nobody could believe it. We took them back to America. They'd never ever been on an aeroplane in their lives. Someone who never left this estate. They'd never seen sea. It was unbelievable. I was one of them uh, people who were part of that team. Uh, but we didn't stop there. We've been to Jersey. We boxed in France. We boxed a number of international competitions. As you know, we've got a hell of a problem in this, uh, this country. There's drugs everywhere and bringing kids in off the street. We all them kids keep off on drugs. Drugs as evil as we all know. But when kids join these clubs and they, they then get a boxing license, they have regular uh, medicals. They have to go through doctors and uh, that helps to keep them off drugs, which is a fantastic achievement again. I know that Parsons Cross Boxing Club is helping parents keep their kids off on drugs, which is a fantastic, fantastic achievement. Uh, I'm an old man now, but we've got young kids here who's uh, looking after kids. They'll carry on with what I've done over the years. We have never been lucky enough to have a sponsor. We've never ever had a sponsor or a big sponsor in any way, shape or form. What, what we've had to do is, is try and uh, run little shows here and there to try and get money to keep this place open. Uh, one of our trainers, he works for a company called Limbrook and uh, lo and behold the uh, chief executive officer uh, from uh, Limbrook's was bred and born on Parsons Cross so he knows what Parsons Cross is all about and I remember he did a bit of an interview in, uh, in local newspaper uh, saying that uh, he went to the University of Parsons Cross and I always thought that was a fantastic uh, uh, speech or a fantastic way of putting Parsons Cross because Parsons Cross means something. Lee, he has been in touch with one of our trainers and lo and behold he's going to look after our club, it's going to sponsor our club. Lee is, uh, is a godsend, uh, he's a follower who's down to earth, as I say he's from Parsons Cross and you can't get no more down to earth people than people are from Parsons Cross and he's a godsend, there's, there's no two ways about it and uh, we want to thank Lee for jumping in and he's going to help us in, in, in future wherever he can. And that, that is really, really good. To say a local man who's come good is now going to help us to further ourselves.